M0FXB, just adding some port forwarding here, or doing some. Uh, it's really for my All Star node. So, what we're going to add is 222 and 4659. Yeah, it's four, four, five, six, nine. So we put in one nine two one six eight dot one dot one, and we got to my Vodafone page, and then we've logged in. Yeah, you have to set up a password, and once you've done that, click on. This is where I'm learning internet IPv port mapping. Now I have done IP config, so in the as well to get more info. So in the bottom here, just in here in the search, type in IP com type in command first. So should we do it from scratch? So we'll put in here command. Okay, and you get the little black box. Click the black box and clip in, click in IP config. We are on the same um, we're on the same connection as, as my Vodafone router as well. You just check that you are connected to your Vodafone, Vodafone router. So then just bring that down. And the numbers I've got here is, is uh, IPv4 is 1.105 and gateway is 1.1. .1, so I think I might need that. So then you just click. It's only, it's only allowing me to click static port mappings. I can't do dynamics. So I'm going to have to do this one. I'm going to click plus. I'm going to call it All Star. Uh, I'll do it, call it 222. I'm going to do TD, TCP and UDP for both. Device, so um, let's have a look here. So I'm going to go to this laptop, yeah? I suppose, well, actually, it does connect to my other thing, so I'm going to choose my other router that it connects to. Uh, port, port range. And I'm just going to put in here, I haven't got a clue. 222, 222, and I'm going to save. Uh, now the local VIP, does it, is it even letting me change that? It is, but I'm going to leave it because maybe that is the one for my AG2. So I'm just going to click save. Uh, oh, I doesn't like the, the, the username, service. Let's get, just put all star. Click save. There you are, it's added one. And then I'll do the other one. And then we're going to go all star. Star. I'll just put two S's. All star S. I'll do again TD, TCP, UDP. Select the same device because all my radio stuff does connect to that. Just interestingly, if I choose a different device, yeah, look, that number changes. So that's worth knowing. Um, so anyway, I'll do that um, for the for that router port, and I'll just put in four five six nine again here four five six nine, and then I'll click save. So there you go. Um, that's how I think you do it. I've never done this before. Um, and then should we click apply? Just to make sure your changes have been saved. So yeah, I hope this helps when you're trying to do work out how to do port forwarding and ports and all that. I've never done it before, so I'm just going to put this video on. Let's all hope. 7-3, all the best.